gave up on fashion because of minimalism. So it's kind of awkward and contradicting. I mean, looking at my YouTube channel, it can consider as a fashion channel. But here I am today telling you guys I gave up on fashion. If you guys are here with me from the very start of CK Space, you probably can tell the change, the transition that I'm making with all the wabi sabi and minimalism video. But for those who are new here, I used to make videos regarding sneakers and fashion but today i'm really tired of it i'm tired of fashion and let me tell you why i'll say i'm someone who's in love with fashion whether is it high-end avant-garde or streetwear i love the culture and i wanted to be in the culture i love dressing myself up so i surround myself with all the fashion items sneakers and constantly update myself with news regarding about fashion so I can feel part of it. And the common topics that come out of my mouth were I need to have the latest fashion piece. Do you see the new release from that designer? If only I have the money to buy that sneakers. I didn't like how this was going. I isolate myself, my interests solely based on fashion and how people look or how people dress. Just like what Mark Twain said, too much of anything is bad but too much good whiskey is barely enough. But you get what he meant, I drown myself in a world of fashion and only absorb whatever is related to fashion and that definitely caused a huge problem for me. And living in this fashion culture, it's hard not to get distracted by trends, they are everywhere. Whether is it on social media, YouTube videos, people on the street or even friends around you. There's no way you can escape from trend as long as you are looking at them. Just as you thought you caught a wave for this trend, someone is already starting the next. The more I was trying to understand fashion, the more I found myself in this endless cycle of pursuing more. More fashion items, more garments, more sneakers. I bought a new sneakers and I started to think I should have the other pair so I can alternate the wear. Now, since I have a second sneakers, I'm thinking of getting a new pair of pants to match that sneakers. At the same time, there's a sale on this website. Since I'm buying a pants, I might as well get a top too. At the end of the day, I found myself surrounded with fashion items and wasted a big chunk of my savings. Another fashion problem of mine is I could never be satisfied with what I own. I have endless feeling of wanting more, craving for more and new fashion items. I got myself a new expensive fashion item. I felt elated for a week. One week later, the happiness wears off as the item became part of my life. One month later, I'm kinda sick of the item. I still love it, but one more. I started to look for more fashion items. And I got myself another expensive fashion item. I felt elated for a week. I was in this endless loop on a hedonic treadmill, chasing a ephemeral happiness from buying stuff buying new stuff that can give me short-term happiness. Initially, I thought it was because of the ever-changing fashion trend that caused my unhappiness and dissatisfaction. I've tried to ignore fashion trends by focusing on a particular style or particular designer. That's when I realized the issue is not with the trend, the issue is with me. But that was too late, I was in a deeper trench now. I love the products from a particular designer. I want to get as many fashion items from this particular designer if possible. Most of the time, I'm unable to acquire these items as they are way out of my financial capabilities. The only way I can see them is from a distance, from people on the internet or even on my friends. That's when envy and comparison kick in. Over time, my love for fashion actually brought me to a negative path. I started to pass judgement on people based on what they own or what they dress. That's probably due to my own insecurity on not being able to own expensive fashion items or not being cool enough to fit in. It also led me to a path where I have a lot of self-doubts, constantly comparing myself with others, judging whether I'm good enough. And we all know, comparison is the thief of joy. I wasn't happy. I felt really tired of how I live my life. I'm so sick of keeping up with trends and buying items that I only wear a few months. I'm sick of envying others because I can't look as good. And the toxic judgmental mind of mine started to judge people close to me. I know that the only way I can be happy is to exit this fashion race I've created for myself. And I told myself I need to voluntarily lose interest in fashion in order to exit. I have stopped looking at fashion related website and YouTube videos. I've unfollowed various fashion accounts on my Instagram. No doubt, it was difficult at the beginning. I couldn't bear to click the unfollow button because I'm so afraid of missing out. And my explore page still seems to know that I'm interested in fashion. 
And what's even worse was my mind started to think, what shoe should I get since now I'm a minimalist? Wait, what? I don't know whether is it the HPs or the help of minimalism. I started to know my priorities. Slowly, with the help of time, I started to lose interest in fashion and lose the urge of buying new fashion items. But don't get me wrong, I still like to see beautiful garments, appreciating the material use, the treatment on the garments, the cutting, less on the brands and label. I like them, but I'm fine not having them. Like I mentioned before, I think fashion is not inherently good or bad, it's how people see it. In fact, being able to dress in what you love can give you the confidence that you need, the increase in dopamine that make you feel really good about yourself. And it's a good way to express yourself and have a certain image that you want to portray. I used to love to dress myself out based on a certain mood I felt that day, but it did brought me to a negative path. It was so negative where I chose the outfit based on the mood I have that day. And suddenly, I don't feel it after I head it out. I'll be extremely moody that day. And now I also find it troublesome to dress myself out based on my mood. By minimalizing my wardrobe, it gave me a lesser selection on what I can wear every day. Some might think it's bad because you can't express yourself with different look. But the good thing is, I don't have to worry on what to wear every day. Just like a uniform. You guys probably should know some successful people wear the same clothing every day. Just like them, I want to use my brain on something else instead of worrying what to wear every day and getting my mood all fucked up because I chose the wrong outfit. But I haven't reached a point where I need to have a uniform yet. Currently, I have a lot of just-in-case clothing that I need to get rid of. So minimalism helps me to minimalize how I see fashion. I still love to look good, but it's not an important value that I need to become the person I want to be. Fashion is still a sub-value of mine, something that will make me feel good, and not something I compare myself with or judge someone by. It gives me a peace of mind knowing that I'm immune to fashion. I don't have any feelings when I see a new release. I don't feel sad if I can't own a new fashion piece. What a relief. I feel so great about this change. If you guys like what you see here, you can support this project of mine where I create videos surrounding minimalism, self-development, and personal wellness. I'll keep my videos coming every Tuesday, and if you'd like to support, you can head down to my Patreon link at the description below, and I'll really appreciate if you can pledge a small amount of money every month, and that will really help the growth of the channel and keep this channel going. I'm grateful that you are willing to spend your time and attention on my videos. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.